Dear students, welcome to EPG Padshala. My name is Manoj Saimwal and I am working as an assistant professor at University Institute of Hotel and Tourism Management, Punjab University, Chandigarh. I will be taking the module on brandy under the paper Food and Beverage Service. After completing this module, the students will be able to define brandy, they'll be able to understand the term cognac and delimited regions of cognac. They'll also learn production methods of cognac and identify the brands of cognac. They can explain ammoniac and the approved reasons of ammoniac production. They can list the brands of ammoniac and the service of brandy. Now, brandy is an alcoholic beverage produced by all the wine producing countries worldwide. These are made by distilling wine made from grapes. The brandies can also be distilled from other fruits, but in that case, they must be named after that particular fruit followed by brandy. For example, a brandy made from cherry can be called as cherry brandy, and the brandy which is made from plum will be named as plum brandy or apricot brandy etc. These fruits brandy are also categorized as Odevi. Though brandies are produced everywhere but the well-known brandies in the world are cognac and armagnac which comes from cognac and armagnac regions of France. Much prior to the 16th century wine was being traded all over Europe as a major buy and sell commodity. Heavy taxes were levied on the wine. The more the quantity, the more the taxes imposed on it. And it was also very difficult to carry large amount of wine in a limited cargo room. To overcome this and ship more wines in the beginning of 16th century, a Dutch merchant invented a unique idea for transporting more wine to the destination seaport in Holland. He started distilling wine so that excess water in the wine is removed and the concentrated wine can be shipped to Holland and after reaching the destination the water is added back to the wine. People started calling it Brandwin that means burnt wine later which becomes brandy. Now moving further, we will discuss about cognac which is considered as one of the finest and esteemed brandies among all the brandies produced throughout the world. It is produced at the department of Charente and Charente Maritime situated in the cognac area of France. Cognac is different from other brandies because for any spirit to be called cognac, it must come from the specific region of cognac. Located in western France, a ruling was prepared in the year 1909 to stop replication of cognac and also to get cognac name. For that, cognac must come from the regions which are authorized to produce cognac. There are six zones of the delimited cognac regions in France which are classified in descending order based on terroir. And terroir is a word actually which means a combined effect of the soil, climate and all other factors. It is said that soil with more chalk substance produces better spirit. Now we will discuss the different cognac regions. The first one is Grand Champagne. From Grand Champagne, it should not be confused with the Champagne region of France, but Champagne is a word that is taken from a Latin word Campania, which means open countryside. The surroundings of cognac region has soil, which is very rich in chalk content and hence considered superior for producing finest quality of brandy which is matured for years. Now 
we move to next next one that is pathid champagne pathid champagne is another reason for producing cognac the cognac produced in this region are quite similar to the one produced in grand champagne there is difference in microclimate though soil in this region is also similar to the one in grand champagne now let's move on to the next reason borderies the brandies produced here have that distinct nutty and floral note the place is situated near the town called bury northwest of cognac the soil is chalky and the climate similar to that of champagne region however the brandy is produced here is used for blending the fourth reason is fins poa the area is located in southwest france the soil is similar to surrounding cognac producing regions but has more gravel soil brandies produced here have fruity and complex bouquet they mature quite quickly quickly and mostly used as blends for producing other brandies the next one is bons boy due to its proximity from sea and richy chalky soil produces broad tasting brandies the grapes cultivated in the this area are used in making of cheap cognacs the sixth reason is boa ordinaries the area is sandy and mostly coastal very harsh cognac produced here utilized as cheap plants dear students now let's discuss the production process of cognac cognac is produced in the cognac region of france the wine which is used in distilling cognac is made primarily from the saint emilion grapes also known as ugni blanc the other variety of grapes which are allowed to be used in production of cognac are folie blanc and colombard although ac guideline permits a total of 8 varieties of grapes in production of cognac but 98% of base wine is prepared from ugni blanc grapes now the first step in production of cognac is making of wine in this step the grapes are first pressed and the juice called must is allowed to ferment naturally by the wild yeast present in the surrounding for a period of about 7 to 10 days sugar and sulfur dioxide is not added in the wine making for cognac which results in a very low ethanol content about 8 to 10% very dry and acidic wine the wine which is produced is very unpleasant for drinking and forms an excellent foundation for distilling the cognacs now the next step is distillation process after fermentation the wine is distilled in a very traditional pot still known as charente also known as alembic the design and size of device is controlled is sternly under the french excise regulations the stills is made small in size in order to have a slow and accurate distillation process according to the french law the distillation process should commence in the month of november and finished by march 31st the wine is distilled twice during the process of cognac making during first distillation the wine is heated steadily and it allows the alcohol and congeners to turn into vapor during the process the wire, the vapor rises from the pot and passes through the serpentine or coiled pipe which makes vapor to cool down and the milky liquid is collected which contains a very foul smell and harsh taste having an alcoholic strength of 26 to 32 percent and known as brulee which is set for second distillation during the second distillation the brulee 
return back to the pot still for the second distillation known as bon chauffe the second distillation takes a little longer than compared to the first as it demands for better supervision from an experienced distiller for getting the desired result during the process the distiller must know the exact time when he or she needs to separate the heart of distillate from the head part and tail part the head part is very high on alcohol and the tail part lacks alcoholic strength the head and tail both are sent back and added to the brewery for further distillation the heart or the middle part is required which is a clear colorless liquid also known as young cognac and has about 70% alcoholic content the next step in the process is maturation process of cognac the maturation process is a very important stage in cognac production during the course raw cognac is aged in oak cask those which are specially created for this function the aging period allows the cognac to achieve the required characteristics like color and bouquet from the oak wood the time period for maturation in wood differs in different cognac but a minimum of 1 and a half year is essential some are aged for a period of 2 to 4 years where a number of cognacs are aged for much longer limousin or tronshaw are the species of oak which are used in making of casks for the maturation of cognac maturation in older casks makes for light bodied and delicate cognac where some producers use new cask in order to impart more color and tannin from the new cask after achieving the desired character the cognac is transferred to the old cask the cask are topped with cognac and checked for the quality and addition of sugar and caramel in a very small quantity may also be added the quality of cognac only improves for the time it is kept in the wood once it is bottled the further improvement stops during the maturation some quantity of cognac is lost due to evaporation from the cask which manufacturer term as angel share now the next step and very important one blending the cognacs from different surrounded areas having different age and crew are mixed together to form a unique product the final product is always a result of perfect harmony between the cognacs that are aged for different periods the person who is responsible for performing this task is called as maitre deshai whose job is to blend and check for the consistency in color bouquet taste and quality of end product after blending the cognacs these are allowed to rest for a period of time so that all the characters from different blends marry together to form the best cognac now the last step in making of cognac which is bottling the bottles of every cognac is a beauty in itself as all the manufacturers put lots of emphasis on that as it is a matter of pride for them the strength of alcohol in cognac is brought down to about 40 to 45% alcohol by volume the cognac is made clear and again rested before being bottled dear students now let's discuss the different types of cognac the first one is grand champagne or we can also call it grand fine champagne the cognac made the most traditional way in accordance with the cognac appellation in the grand champagne region 
Now next is Pathé Champagne. Pathé Champagne is a cognac which is produced from wines and grapes produced in the Pathé Champagne region, one of the geographical area of cognac production. Now the next one is Fine Champagne. These are the cognacs which are produced from the mix of brandies from the Grand Fine Champagne region and Pathé Champagne region. But it must have at a least amount of 50% brandy from the Grand Fine Champagne region. Now we will move to the next section which is how to read the cognac label. Now if it is written VS on a cognac then it means very special and is equal to 3 star. It signifies that the youngest blend of brandy used in production of that particular cognac has been aged for a minimum of one and a half year according to the French law. But some countries who import cognac from France ask for a minimum period of three years. So ideally they are average aged for about five years old. Now the next thing which is which, which you will see on a cognac label that is BSOP which stands for very superior old pale. The label used by cognac which are used for much longer than five years but the label indicates that the cognac is aged for a minimum of four and a half years. Now some of the luxury cognacs according to the French laws these types of cognac are aged for a minimum of six and a half years though these cognacs are the produce of premier quality and they are average aged for about 20 years or more. They will have some prestigious names on their label like very very superior old pale that is VVSOP, XO that stands for extra old, grand reserva or Napoleon, cordon blow, cordon argent etc. They all signify top quality cognacs. Now let's move on to the other section which is brand names of some finest quality cognacs. So these are Hennessy, Remy Martin, Camus, Martel, Hein, Carvizier, Otard, Moyer. Now we will discuss the other equally important brandy which is Armagnac. It also comes from the France. Armagnac is one of the finest brandies produced in the world as it is rated as second best to cognac. Produced in the Armagnac region from the Zers department, it has the privilege to be called as the oldest brandy produced in France. The oldest historical reference of Armagnac dates back to 1411, which means it is much older than cognac. Ugni Blanc, Colombol, Folle Blanc and Baco Blanc are the grape varieties used in production of Armagnac. Now we will discuss all the delimited Armagnac regions. So the first one is Bas Armagnac. It is situated on the west of Armagnac locale of France, produces the superior quality Armagnacs. The tasting notes are subtle complex and sweet bouquet. Now the other reason that is Tenares reason. It is a reason sandwiched between the Bas Armagnac and Hoth Armagnac. Produces very strong flavored Armagnac which matures very early. Now we will move to third reason that is Hoth Armagnac. In the Hoth Armagnac reason the cheap quality Armagnac are produced. Now dear students let us discuss the production method of Armagnac. Similar to the cognac, the wine for the distillation of Armagnac are distilled all through winters and must be completed by 31st of March. The fermentation process is done with the help of wild yeast. Sulfur dioxide is not used. The wine which is produced this way is very dry and equally acidic. The quality which is considered ideal for the production of fine brandies. About 95% of Armagnac are distilled in continuous still, which is a very unique kind of column still used in only Armagnac region. It is small and unlike other types of column still. 
This has shorter rectifier column with few plates. The spirit produced in such a steel isn't much rectified like other spirits made with column steel. The alcoholic strength of ammoniac produced this way is about 53 percent alcohol by volume which is less compared to that of one distilled in pot still. But it contains more of congeners. In 1973, ammoniac was allowed to use pot still for distillation which produces a spirit of about 70 percent alcohol by volume. Now we will move to the next step in the process that is maturation and blending. The ammoniac is matured in charred monlezun oak. The wood is rich in tannin which imparts flavor and color to the ammoniac and also makes it mature early. The flavor is attributed to the manufacturing process and the unique distillation which leaves more congenous and earthy aroma to the brandy. Mixing of sugar and caramel is not allowed in ammoniac according to the French laws. It achieves the desired character after the aging of about 8 to 10 years and becomes fully matured in 20 years. Now we will move to the next section which is brand names of some popular ammoniac. So these are Janio, Sampe, Lepostol, Semelens, Lobare. Now we will move to the next section which is service of brandy. Brandy is served in the brandy balloon or brandy snifter. The glass which is designed specifically for the purpose of having brandy. The design of glass is such is much broader from the base and it narrows down going up to the top. It serves as the purpose of trapping the aromas oozing out of the glass. Brandies are served after the end of a meal as it is believed to help digestion. The premium quality brandies are preferred to be taken neat without any mixes. The brandy is poured into the brandy balloon or snifter and then swirled in the palm so that it heats up. The warmth of the glass emits the aroma of the brandy which can be easily appreciated by the nose by taking little sips from the glass. Warming of glass is enhance the joy of having brandy but should be asked from the guest before doing it. The brandy is also drunk on the rocks and with additions. But it is the responsibility of the beverage server to confirm how he or she wants to enjoy their drink. Now the most important question which always comes in mind. What is the difference between cognac and armeniac? So now I will discuss the important points where both cognac and armeniac different differs from each other. So let's discuss. Cognac and armeniac both are made from distilling wine made up of grape, grapes. They both come from different regions. Cognac comes from the Charente and Charente Maritime which is located in north of Bordeaux whereas Armenic is produced in the Gascony region. The cognac are distilled twice in pot still imparting more delicate flavors and bouquet while Armenic are distilled in column still of its own kind unique to only Armenic region and it leaves more congeners and turns it into much robust and earthy flavors. Since 1972, some armenics are also allowed to use pot still. Cognac is the number one when it comes to products producing brandies, where armenic is rated immediate second worldwide. Now, dear students, let's sum up what all we have learned so far in brandy. Brandy is distilled either by pot still or patent still. Depending on the style of brandy being produced, brandies obtain such characteristic as body, color, bouquet, etc. during the aging in cask. All the wine producing countries in the world produce brandy. 
and the best brandies of the world are produced in France as Cognac and Armagnac. So dear students, that's all for today. Thank you.